Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech encoding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all the information. I do the premium problems with Lee Code on Patreon, and I have a cool Discord if you want to join that. Uh, this is next greater node in the linked list. We just did next greater element one and two, so this is the same thing as that. They're all the same, so I would watch number one is the real explanation of everything. These are just kind of like uh, build ons. So this one's just with a linked list and we don't really do anything clever here. There's nothing to do except turn it into an integer array. So you just turn it into an integer array and then you do the same thing that we did in next greater element. So I'd recommend checking that out. So given a linked list, uh, head is the first node of the linked list. Uh, let's number the nodes, node one, node two, node three. Each node has a next larger value, meaning node of i's next larger value is a node that's later in the linked list. Uh, so, you know, here's two, the next greater value has to be later in the linked list and the value has to be greater. So to the right and greater. Um, so just return an integer array of the values uh, that for the greater uh, elements, right? So for, for this list node two, the next greatest element is not one because one's smaller and five is the greater element, so it's five. One's next greatest is five. And if we don't have a value for it, we're just gonna return a zero. So five doesn't have a next greater element, there's nothing after it, um, so it's a zero. Uh, two's next greatest is seven. Seven's next greatest is nothing because there's nothing, so we put a zero. Uh, four's next greatest is five. Three's next greatest is five. And then five's next greatest is nothing, so zero. You can go through this one by yourself. Um, so let's just get started. Really, uh, we're just going to make an array list of integers. Uh, this one's going to be called node vals equals new array list. Boom. Now we're going to loop through the linked list. We're going to make a current node. So traverse a linked list. You guys are probably familiar with that if you're doing this problem. Uh, while current node is not equal to null, what are we doing? We're just making our uh, integer array of values so that we can actually do the problem. So we add um, current node dot value. And then all we have to do is current node equals current node dot next to keep traversing. Uh, this node has a value in the next. If you look at the node class up there, Okay, now we have our in array that we can work with this. So let's make our stack of integers uh, like we do in the other problems. Um, stack is equal to new stack. And then let's make our output array too so that we can actually output this. So we're gonna say uh, int output array is equal to new int and it's gonna be the same size as the, all the node, val the node value size. Um, because if we have a list of all the node values like this, we now have this, like 215, um, you know, then we just, uh, yeah, our output's gonna be the same length, right? In e every case, right? Okay, so let's loop through this array now, or uh, array list for, uh, my bad. Uh, so while i is less than node vals dot size, boom. Um, I plus plus right, and we're gonna be put. We're gonna be using an index stack in this case, just to make it easier on us with the array list. So we're gonna be doing stack dot push i. The index stack is in next uh, greatest element two. So you can check out how to do an index stack as well. Um, if um, the stack is not empty, so the first loop you put something into the stack. Second loop, the stack is no longer empty. And uh, this is why we use index because we have to use node vals dot get stack dot peak because it's an index is less than uh, the current element. So node vals dot get i. Well, there we go. That means we found um, the next greatest element because that means whatever was in the stack, what we previ we put things we previously saw in the stack. And this is a while loop. Sorry. Uh, and um, while the thing we previously saw that was in the stack is less than the current thing we've seen, well, that means we found something greater than what we previously saw, right? So all we have to do is update our output array. So we do output array of stack.peak. That's why we do this as well, because we need the indexes uh, to index the array is equal to node vals.gets i. And that should be the problem. You can return your output array and this should run pretty smoothly. Um, yeah, that's it's that's the whole problem. If you don't remember, 
Um, I could explain one more thing too. Uh, just that two one five last executed input time limit exceeded. What do we do wrong? Stacked up pop. My bad. You got to do stacked up pop right there because you got to pop things off the stack. Can't just be the same stack or nothing will ever get done. So four hours later. There we go. Oh my God. I was like, what did I do wrong again? Okay. There we go. So if you don't remember, basically what you're doing is you're putting things onto the stack, right? Um, two, one, five, right? So you say, you know, you put two onto the stack, you put, well, the index for two, which is zero onto the stack. And then you say, is two less than one when you do the next loop? No. So you put one, the index for one onto the stack, which is one. Okay. Is one less than five? Oh, it is less than five. Okay, so let's put output array of position one is five. Okay, we do that. And now we have an output array with the middle element five. But it's a while loop, so you keep doing it because decreasing elements all have the same. When we get to a greater element than all the decreasing elements, you find the next greater element for all of them, you know? So if it's like four, three, two, one, and then a five, all four, three, two, one, the next greatest element is five. So you just have a while loop. So you keep popping these things off. You keep putting them on the stack until you find a greater element. And then you pop them all off. Set it up. I'll put your array. You submit. It's all good. Check out the other videos. I go way more in depth than this one. I'm just tired of these. There's still another next greatest. So I might do that. I might not do it. But I mean, there's so many of these next greatest. Like, I get the point, you know? So this one was not even cool because you just kind of uh, take the link list values, put them into an array, and then it's just the same as the other one. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thanks for watching the videos. And I love you all very much.